Hey guys, Chanel LV here. Hope you're doing well. I would like to share my Chanel unboxing with you today that I thought I'm not gonna get it again because of my past two experiences that I wasn't happy about. And it came today. Let's go ahead and see if this would be my final mini flap order from Chanel after my two failed unboxing. Here's the first one and the second one. I was only gonna buy this piece, but this one showed available. How about that? Without further ado, let's open, shall we? Here it is guys, hopefully it's the right one and I don't have to be disappointed for the third time. And like I said earlier, it's a mini flap. I originally ordered it months ago in a black color, but they sent me a gray color. I had planned to keep the gray if it's in great condition, but ended up being returned because it wasn't in a great shape. And to refresh your memory, here is the gray mini flap that I got, where the right side of the flap is longer. Also, the sides are deformed. Look at that. Under the flap has multiple dents of the quilting. And right there, my goodness, so it was returned. So the second one is this Pearl Crush mini flap in black, also dented. And as you can see on the bottom there, it's hollow and more dense under the flap. I think the leather use is really soft. Hopefully for the very third time, this would be a good one. Let's do this. Oh, I hope it's in perfect condition. Ta -da! All right, guys. It's the black mini flap. Wait a minute. Do you guys see what's wrong already in this picture? I can spot it right away. The flap on the left side of my screen is longer. Is it just my eyes? I am losing my mind. Let's take out this black velvet. Maybe I'm hallucinating here. Okay, not bad under the flap. All right, let's go back to the front view of this bag that caught my eyes right away. Am I overthinking this? The flap on my left side is lower than the right side. Sometimes you just have to kind of push it down, but it did not change the form of the flap. Will that bother you? Knowing that this is hard to get peace. Anyway. Let's move on to the side. Let's see if this bag is worth keeping or return again. And the back side, shiny lambskin leather, looking good. The other side, which is not stepped on. And look at this, no more two tags 
it came with two strings the other one is gone my sa had warned me that they will stop sending with tags from now on i'm not sure if that's just a particular boutique or it works for every boutique i am not sure but i kind of like to have my tag don't you see this doesn't tell me what season is this 20a or 20s not too much information anymore so the bottom There is a mark right there and I will zoom it. Here is the top. Look how this one is thicker compared to this one. Can you guys see what I'm talking about? This looks thicker and this one is thinner let's see so this is wider and this is narrower am i making sense here guys or is it just the angle of my camera you guys tell me i am losing my mind here but i think this is fatter or thicker and this is thinner if my eyes are not playing with me let's see here this is the card you see the excess flap in here oh my goodness not again and as far as this, laying it flat, this is all the way up here. And see how high the other one is. This is all the way down here. There's like a one inch difference between this and this. I hope you guys see my point here. So this is kind of like going down here. Oh well. I am not even going to go inside again of this bag. But we can at least look under the flap. Let's see where it's made from. It's made in Italy. And the leather, there's a scratch under the flap. And I will zoom it so you guys can see. I am not even going to unwrap this. Let me just compare to my red mini so you guys can see that I am not losing my mind here. So this is the flap of my red mini. So what do you guys think? The flap is really lower here, right? And I'll show you how perfect this one is. Let's put it on top of the red. Have you noticed how the black is smaller than the red? Or is it just the color? please let me know what you think so here is this i have the small unboxing for you again if you have been watching my latest videos you would see how i got obsessed with this collection it's another fashion jewelry and i have added it again to my paris button collection so I got the belt, the earrings, the necklace, and now the brooch. Here is the brooch, guys. If you're going to ask me the size reference, 
please refer to my last two videos where I did a very detailed comparison of the sizes as well between the belt, the earrings, and the necklace. So here it is again. The front, very shiny, gleaming gold hardware. All right, no tag either that I've noticed, no care card. I'm not sure what they're doing there. Maybe they're such in a hurry again to pack my things and go leave the place. So by the way, I have noticed on this brooch, I'm trying to remove it from the pouch. It has a different locking mechanism. All right, let me just show you real quick. No more lever that goes under to lock the needle. It's just a plain metal here with groove under here where you put the needle go inside. So out, we'll bring it into the slot and in. And on the tip of the top of the metal, it has a CC logo right there. The authenticity stamp is down below. Anyway, it's a very pretty brooch. Now my Paris button collection is complete. Just to see how Yellow is the gold tone of this metal. This is also a shiny gold champagne metal. And look how yellower is this one. Here are my two unboxings for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time. Bye.